Hello ladies and gentlemen! In today's video, you will learn how you can become more productive when working with PowerPoint. I'll be sharing with you my best PowerPoint productivity tips that help me to speed up my PowerPoint workflow. So, let's go! Before we get started, I want to say a huge thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video and supporting OneSkill channel. Skillshare is an awesome online learning community with thousands of classes for you, my friend. You can learn many new skills such as animation, design and illustration and many more. And I'm always looking for new ways to improve myself as a presentation designer and learning new skills such as being more productive is super useful. Creating more in less time sounds awesome. So, I have recently taken this productivity class on Skillshare called Principles and Tools to Boost Your Productivity by Ali Abdal. And I really like how Ali defines the productivity. Productivity is useful work divided by time and multiplied by fun. So, for today's video, I thought it would be really fun and useful to share with you my best PowerPoint productivity tips that I have uncovered along my way and that helped me to speed up my PowerPoint workflow. So definitely check out Skillshare, the first 1000 people to use the link in the video description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. By the way, today's tutorial slides are free to download thanks to Skillshare, link is in the video description. And now let's continue with the video. Alright ladies and gentlemen, so to save some time I'll be using a couple of slides from my previous tutorial. And now let's just duplicate this first slide. And now I'd like to share with you my first tip or my first shortcut that I love to use and that is Command A or Control A if you're on Windows and this shortcut helps you to quickly select all of the objects on your slide and then for example you can quickly change the color of all of the text boxes. Now as you can see all of the text boxes are black so now let me just delete that uh, photo overlay and for this photo let's just crop it to the right side and this way, as you can see, we can quickly change the look of the slide and basically we have a new slide layout. That's awesome. Alright, so let's duplicate slide number one once again and let's just drag it here a little bit below. And now let me show you how we can quickly change this background photo. Especially in those situations when you have some shapes on top of your photo and it might be hard to select your photo. In this case, we have the semi-transparent rectangle on top of the photo. So in such cases, let's go to Selection Pane, uh, where we can see all of the shapes, all of the objects. And here at the bottom, we can see this semi-transparent rectangle. So let's just give it a name, for example, Overlay. And now we can just hide it. Just click on that eyeball icon, and now we can easily select our photo. We can select it, we can delete it, and now we can click on this picture icon, and now we can insert a completely new picture just like that. Just make sure that you send your photo to back and we can turn on back the overlay and this is how we can easily and quickly change background picture if we have a more complex uh, slide layout. Awesome! Right and next let's say that you have created only tip number one and you have to create the rest of the text boxes for tip number two, three and four and what would be the fastest way to do it. So I would suggest to group these uh, three text boxes into one group, right click and choose group or you can use uh, shortcut keys, option command G or control G if you're on Windows, All right? Now you can quickly copy this group and another awesome shortcut you can use, just select a group, hold down the control key and this way you can quickly make some copies. Just hold down the control key and make some copies. I just love this shortcut. And we can make this shortcut even more amazing. You can hold down the control key and at the same time hold down the shift key. So this way you'll be dragging your copies in a straight line. That's awesome. And now with the shift key we can select all of the text boxes and let's go to align options and let's make sure that we have even horizontal spaces between all of the text boxes. And now all that's left to do is just update the text inside of the text boxes and this way you have quickly duplicated and created all of these uh, text boxes. Super duper awesome. Alright, next let me share with you how we can quickly and easily copy and paste the style of one shape to another shape. So let's say that we have put a lot of effort into creating this beautiful 
color gradient overlay so let's just add some colors from the color palette let's change the direction of the gradient and let's add some transparency to these uh, color stops and let's say that we're super happy with this gradient and we would like to apply the same gradient for example to the rectangle in the first slide so how could we do that so here we have this beautiful gradient and here on the first slide we have this semi-dark gradient so how can we use the same gradient so let's select this one and hit shift command c or shift control c to copy the style and for this one let's select it and hit shift command v or shift control v and this way we have quickly pasted the style okay so next let's talk about animations how can we speed up the process of adding animations and powerpoint so in this slide as you can see these photos have some animations and that's awesome so let me delete all of these animations so that we can start from scratch and let's select this picture at the bottom and let's add this pinwheel animation and here in the animation pane we can check it out this is how it looks like we can speed up this animation by reducing the duration to 0.5 seconds let's make it short starts after previous all right and now we could repeat the same steps for the rest of the photos uh, selecting each photo adding the pinwheel animation but there is a faster way we can use the animation painter and with the animation painter we can quickly paste the same animation to the rest of the photos and this is how easy and fast it is and here are all of the animations easy peasy lemon squeezy all right and now let's talk about colors and how to quickly change the look of your presentation so let's just go to design tab let's find color palettes and let's choose a new color palette and as you can see the text boxes and all of the shapes instantly get a new color that's really awesome so remember you have to choose a new color palette and all of your shapes and text boxes will get a new color but keep in mind that you have to set your colors correctly in the first place which means that all of the colors that you use in your presentation must be chosen from your color palette so let's just check this text box customer support and as you can see the color is from the color palette as you can see this is the active color swatch for example for this shape we can go to format shapes and we can check this gradient stop color once again these colors are from color palette and this is really important because if you would choose a custom color let's just choose any custom color which is not present in the color palette so let's just try this dark purple color okay and now if we would try to change the color palette uh, this color would not update as you can see the rest of the colors are updating but this custom color is not updating so keep in mind that all of your objects all of your shapes have to use the colors from the color palette and only then you will be able to quickly change the colors all right so next let's say you have created a huge presentation with many slides and now you'd like to insert your company logo in all of those slides so what would be the easiest way to do that so let's insert one skill powerpoint tutorials logo all right position your logo so that it looks nice and now let's just cut this logo hit command x or Control x to cut it and now let's just go to slide master view now let's just scroll to the top and let's paste our logo right here and now this logo will be visible in all of our slides so if you have 100 slides the logo will be visible in all of those slides just make sure you go through the slides and check if your logo has enough space on each slide so as you can see on this one the text is overlapping uh, with our logo so we can just delete this text box and let's just adjust the rest of the text boxes one two three just like that so next let's talk about text let's say you have some words or some text that are repeating throughout your whole presentation so for example this word productivity and you would like to change this word into mastery for example so how can you do that quickly just hit ctrl h type in what you would like to find productivity and type in what you would like to change it with so mastery and hit replace and powerpoint will do the job for you now as you can see all of the productivity words are changed into mastery easy peasy lemon squeezy 
Alright, so the last tip that I have for you today is related to slide transitions. So let's say you have found a nice slide transition that you like. For example, this one on cover. Looks like this. And let's say you have a hundred slides and you would like this transition to be applied to all of the slides. So there is a button for that. Just click apply to all. And now all of your slides will have this beautiful uncovered transition. So ladies and gentlemen, now you know how you can speed up your PowerPoint design and animation workflow. Stay happy, stay healthy, and I'll see you on my next video. That's good.